Family and friends said final goodbyes to 63-year-old Valerie Brazak today. Police say the Arvern resident was struck by a car in the crosswalk at Beach 73rd Street last Wednesday. She had the walk signal. It's so sudden. I do hope they do something that somebody else will get killed out there. The dangerous intersection now has a flashing speed limit sign and is only a block from Beachfront Road near a new development and a new road that was open to traffic in the last few years and now problems. You will see crowds of people trying to navigate crossing this street. You won't find a speed limit sign, you won't find a speed hump, you won't find a stop sign, you won't find a traffic light. Residents say there is no safe way to cross the street for 13 blocks from Beach 59th Street to Beach 73rd Street. Some have even taken it upon themselves to put a stop sign in, but it was taken down. It's a conundrum. The Department of Transportation can't install a sign. It doesn't have jurisdiction of this particular stretch. A different city the agency Housing Preservation and Development runs the road, but is not allowed to put up traffic signs. It's a lot of commercial vehicles, private charter buses. And I've even seen a 53-foot uh, semi come through here. The DOT and HPD confirmed they're working on transferring the street to DOT. We followed up with them this week, and they said that they're meeting next week with HPD to transfer over the property, and we'll be calling next week to keep this moving forward so that this community can feel safe. The community hopes the city will at least put up signs and not give them the runaround about studies. In Arvern, Queens, Lisa Rosner, TV 10, 55. Now, the DOT says it's looking into whether speed bumps could be installed on the road, but wouldn't provide a timeline.